So I've talked about a lot of things. We've gone between the clinical world and the research world, and that's what translational research is all about. It's taking the observations that the scientists in the basic lab have found and applying it in patients. You know, so if you see something in a dog experiment like alternans, is it really relevant in the human? So our program is a translational research program. We are taking observations from many researchers and trying to distill it to the patient and see how relevant all of this is for the patient. And so our belief is that scar in the heart, abnormal genes for calcium regulation will lead to T-wave alternans and electrical instability. And what we need to do is improve the accuracy in measuring alternans on the chest. We need a good clinical tool, which we're close to. If we can do that, we can identify the high-risk patient. And if we can identify the high-risk patient, then we can more appropriately use defibrillator therapy. So the future, our goal, of course, is to improve health. And I think just to summarize, sudden cardiac death is a major health problem worldwide. ICDs are effective therapy to prevent sudden cardiac death, but only in the high-risk patient. Currently, the high-risk patients cannot be identified reliably with the tools that we have. And so our research program is to improve risk stratification to allow accurate identification of high-risk patients so ICDs can be more effectively utilized. And last but not least, I'd like to acknowledge some very important people. Uh, this is my research lab, and none of this data, none of these experiments would be possible with the dedication of these individuals who inspire me to keep going. Uh, Adrian and Benaz are my graduate students. Uh, Ananraja, Ben, Raja, and Diego are postdoctoral fellows from India, Ireland, and Brazil. Dinesh is my research coordinator, and Anne is a very important research nurse that helps the EP group in general and has been very helpful in our research programs. So I thank you very much for your attention.